if you have a smartphone or a tablet or you're still using an MP3 player, but you don't have a way to connect your device directly into your car's audio system wirelessly, then perhaps take a closer look at the Kedox FM transmitter that we have here. Hey guys, here are Reviews, so you're watching our video review of the Kedox FM transmitter, which is a pretty useful accessory, again, that connects into your car's stereo system and provides a way for you to call, to talk, and also to listen to music and directly connect those functions into your device, like your MP3 player or your smartphone or your tablet. Now, the version we have here is actually less expensive than the uh, Bluetooth variant by the manufacturer, the by Kedox, and uh, this version here only retails for about $20, so it's less expensive, again, than that Bluetooth version, which is a bit more high-end and more fancy, but essentially it does the same features. Uh, quality as a whole is not as strong as Bluetooth, but that's a bit to be expected because we're using uh, FM radio technology, which is a bit older in terms of the technology, but it still works pretty well, and uh, in general, for listening back music, for talking back as a speakerphone, it's pretty crisp, it's loud, and provides ample volume when you're accessing those features. So taking a look at the packaging, it's pretty simple. We have the device, uh, there's a window that shows the unit and also the accessories that's included. On the back, there's some more information about the product. It's actually going to work with any modern-day smartphone, like your iPhone, Samsung devices, HTC, MP3 players, GPSs. It simply connects to a 3.5mm jack on your product and you're ready to go. And then again, it uses an FM transmitter, which is similar to almost like a FM broadcasters, like an FM radio station. It's going to broadcast a signal um, from the music that you have uh, connected to the device. It's going to send out a signal and then you have to be in tune by going to the same channel on your car's radio system. So for example, if I'm broadcasting at 88.3, I have to tune into 88.3 in my car's FM radio and then it's going to start playing back the song that I'm uh, currently playing on, on my cell phone that's connected to the device. So it's a pretty nice and interesting technology that worked quite well. Uh, it's something that we've seen before but if done well, it also works extremely well. So again, it's full frequency range, it's effective, provide, avoids any interruptions, you can change the channels pretty easily, and it works with any device with a 3.5mm jack, and also includes a uh, USB port charger as well. So in the packaging itself, we have access to the unit. Our product here arrived within five days after we ordered it, so pretty fast shipping, and you can find it directly from Kedox's website or from Amazon.com. So inside, there is an instruction manual for you to read, and it documents the various functions and the features and the various buttons on the product. So you can learn more information about the unit just by checking the manual out. And finally, we have the device itself, wrapped kind of messily inside the packaging. And let's try and take all the contents out. This will work with any iPods, any older MP3 players you have as well that might lack Bluetooth, so it's a reason why you might want to consider this over a Bluetooth 4.0 adapter for the car. Um, because if your, if your product, like your tablet, doesn't have Bluetooth, this is a feature that you have to use this one rather than the Bluetooth variant. So taking a look at the actual adapter part, we have the L LCD display that shows off the actual channel. It's pretty bright, we'll show you that in a moment. There's also skip tracks for you to change the channels uh, for the FM radio in case one channel is being disturbed or is really loud. Uh, we have a disturbance nearby, you can change it to a different channel and it should work. It's crafted out of a soft touch rubber material which is pretty uh, nice, it prevents any fingerprints and it feels solid in construction. The cable length is also pretty strong and long. The other end just features a 3.5mm jack that's gold plated for a tight connection between your phone or your tablet or MP3 player and the device itself. And the other end just features a cigarette lighter that plugs in for power. There's also an additional USB port so you can also charge your phone or MP3 player uh, when you're using it in your car. So it's a nice two-in-one feature. There's also an LED indicator to tell you that when power is being provided, in, you see that the blue LED indicator has started to illuminate and the actual display itself is actually red in illumination. It's pretty bright, it's responsive and quite sensitive, and you can easily shuffle between different channels you might want to use. Again, perhaps if one channel offers a lot of disturbance, it's really staticky nearby, you can always change it to another channel to provide a more higher quality um, experience. And so the other end would simply be plugged into your phone, uh, 3.5mm jack, here we have plugged into our phone, and then you you then change the channel on your car's FM radio to the same one being displayed on here. So in this case, it would be 89.8. And then it, the sound playing back through your car's audio should now be the music being played back on your phone or MP3 player. So in general, I found the technology to be pretty interesting and also it works pretty well as far as the general rule goes. Um, sound quality is actually more clear and crisp than you might actually would expect. I expect a lot of static because it uses FM radio technology as opposed to Bluetooth.
Bluetooth, um, but actually it was actually pretty clear. Um, there's going to be a bit more of distortion at higher volumes, but in general, music was actually pretty crisp, and depending on the genre that you play on, perhaps you use popular music, it actually works very, very well. So it's a good way to add, again, wireless functionality or for a way for you to connect your device into your car's audio system uh, using a very low-cost solution that works quite well. The Kedox FM radio transmitter for your car's audio system isn't anything we haven't seen before. In fact, when the iPods were all the rage back in about 2006 or 2008, we saw a lot of these accessories being sold in uh, electronic stores around the nation. But this is a more modern version that works a bit better, has a clearer display uh, that's really streamlined, easy to use, and we also like the feature that there's an additional USB port for charging that's included right inside the design, which is pretty unique. So it's a two-in-one device that works and functions pretty much exactly as advertised. Now, is the audio quality as clear as some Bluetooth counterparts? Probably not, but at the same time, it's more inexpensive, and also it's going to work if your MP3 player or your, I or your phone or your tablet doesn't have Bluetooth. This is one of the only options that you can use. So overall, it works pretty well, and we would recommend it as a whole. You can check out our written review for more details about the product. This has been our video review here at OS Reviews of the Kedox FM radio transmitter for your car's audio system.